how will Xi Jinping react? Do you think he'll come back with an iron fist? I can't, I can't think about it, but we still need to group together to tell them we are honky. We need to fight till the end. One country, two joint declarations, no more exists. How can? Uh, that's why we get angry. We are fighting for it. I'm here in Central District right now in Hong Kong where a protest is about to be staged. This is a lunchtime protest. It's not the typical protesters that you normally see. It's more business people, people in the financial district. The protesters here are going to be in high heels and business suits. There's police officers here with their buses. Everyone seems to be bracing themselves right now. There's cameras everywhere. There's documentary crews. Uh, there's locals here with their cell phones just staking out the situation, getting ready for whatever's going to happen. We're going to go speak with some folks here as they come out of their office buildings for their lunch hour and see what they have to say. Sign the bill! Save Hong Kong! 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 What are you celebrating today? I'm celebrating the Hong Kong of, uh, democracy of Hong Kong. The victory last night was yes. overwhelming. Did you guys expect the win? Yes, of course. Will the, how long will these protests go? Um, probably, I believe it will end soon, as long as democracy keep keeping victory. But the five demands, they, they haven't been met yet. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, we will make sure that we'll be, we'll be uh, fulfilled. Did you expect the win last night? Oh yeah. I can see the strength of Hong Kong never ever happened like this in my life. Hong Kong people always busy, money, selfish. But now, this last six months is amazing. How will Xi Jinping react? Do you think he'll come back with an iron fist? I can't, I can't think about it, but we still need to group together to tell them we are honky. We need to fight till the end. And now the Carrie Lim tried to use a tradition bill and send us back to China uh, for trial. Of course, of course, we scare, huh? Of course, if we, we 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 come up to fight the fight fight it down. That's all. What's your one message to Xi Jinping? Oh, one country, two system. Please let us let us to do to do to do anything for us. Do not interfere anything in Hong Kong. That's what, what I, I'm, I'm telling him. Uh, Hong Kong is under one country, two system, isn't it? We have the joint declaration in United States. It is already, already registered in, in, the, in the United Nations. It is an international agreement. But she terminated. She said, one country, two system, the joint declaration no more exists. How can? Uh, that's why we get angry. We are fighting for it. <laughs> What's wrong with the protesters? You know, the international media tends to support them. Why do you think that is? Well, you, you need to know about, you know, what is the characteristic of the mainstream media. They're very biased. So basically, they're backed by the U.S. Uh, you need to know that the movement is backed by NED CIA. You know, it's... Uh, Do you have evidence that it's backed by the CIA? There's a lot of evidence out there. Out What's there. the evidence? Well, yeah, the funding. You know, I mean, uh, track the money. There's a lot of funding. It doesn't go directly fr from the NED. It's like, you know, like uh, other entities uh, linked to NED. Do you, think, do you think Donald Trump is paying all the protesters? You know, it's not, not as simple as that. But uh, yes, it's a mix. Uh, the funding comes from uh, the U.S. and this also the tycoons. So for me right now, you know why, why I say it's a, fa it's a fascist movement? It's because uh, they, they don't allow you to speak up. You know, there's a lot of, there's a silenced majority here. The way they behave is very fascist. If you don't agree with me, I'm going to beat you up. So do you support Xi Jinping? No, it's not as simple as that. I support one China. 
Hong Kong belongs to China. I'm against violence. I'm for democracy. I'm for human rights. But I, just to challenge you on that, I'm from Canada and yeah, we yeah. see what China does. There's huge institutions where they imprison Muslims and Christians and political well, dissidents. That's the BBC, that's the BBC rhetoric. You know, it's, not BBC, it's proven, no, no, no. factual. There's, it's proven. there's, there's satellite imaging showing that there's huge internment camps in China. No, no, no. Well, you see, you come in with, with your, you, you know, you come in with your side of the moral. So it's it is, West, it, yes. uh, it is objectively bad to imprison people, don't the, you think? Well, Guantanamo. I mean, are you comparing Guantanamo to what they're doing in Xinjiang? The problem is that Western media, and this is Western thinking. I've been in China for 25 years. The problem with Western thinking is that you are thinking in terms of, of black and white. It's much more complex than that. I think China for the world is a huge opportunity against US hegemony. We're in Central District where a protest is being staged to support the locals in Pali U. If you want to follow along with our coverage, go to hongkongreports.com. Follow me on Twitter live at The Real Kian. Follow Rebel News on Instagram at news.rebel and pitch in perhaps if you have some spare change to fund our efforts here in Hong Kong. It costs about five grand to bring myself and my cameraman here to Hong Kong from North America. If you go to hongkongreports.com and pitch in a few bucks, it would go a long ways to helping our coverage here on the ground.